Okay, good. Hello, Gabriela. Good evening. Hi, Jacqueline. Hello. 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 Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Good or not good? Good. Okay. Good. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, nice. Okay, hello, Gabby. Carlos. Hello, teacher. How are you, Carlos? Ready? Ready. Okay, fine. And we have uh, Jacob. Okay, good. El equivalente a las pilas puestas. Okay, ready. <laughs> okay, ready and let's say uh, yes. Ready and wire. Wire, right? Like wire. When you when you drink a lot of coffee, I feel energetic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay, so we have a seven four eight eight six two three nine. Wow, that's very like in the future. Okay, just let me make a little move. And here we have better position. Okay, good. And then who do we have now? Oh, Sarai too. Back. Okay. Let's begin now. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, remember yesterday we were watching a video that uh, was about places and things. Right, or things that we can buy in a, in a place. So we have, uh, I know the, the images were not very clear, but just to refresh, pay attention to vocabulary because that's what we are going to practice in groups after the video, okay? Now, listen. Uh, let's share the sound first. For you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we other places. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so here we have some uh, ideas, right? That we can check. It says, for example, you can buy uh, magazines at a supermarket. You can eat at a uh, restaurant. You can buy clothes at a department store, right? And what else? Uh, you can buy cough syrup at a drugstore. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore, okay? And what else? You can pay bills, you can pay your bills. 
at a bank, you can you can buy pills at a drugstore. You can pay bills and you can buy pills at a drugstore. You can send uh, packages at a post office. You can fill up your car, fill up your car's tank at a gas station. Uh, you can buy chicken at a restaurant. You can buy a paint at a store at a how do you call this? The, uh, my goodness, I forgot the word. How do you say the referee in hardware store, right? Hardware store. You can buy a uh, paint at the hardware store. Jacqueline, can you read this one? Teacher, what? Repeat, please. Wait. Give me a second, please. Okay. Uh, can you read this one? Uh, this one you, here. You can buy chicken at the supermarket. You okay. can buy clothes at the clothing store. Mm -hmm. Continue. You can you can buy chick, chicken at the supermarket. And you can take the bus, you can take a bus at the bus station, right? Okay, these are places and activities that we can do. Okay, good. Then, look at this one here. And we're going to listen to where is Jean going to buy the swimsuit? that she needs at the supermarket, at the department store, or at the beach. Page 87, exercise two, listening. I need a new swimsuit, part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. 2. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? Okay, do you remember the person? Where is Jane going? Where is Jane going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? At the department the store. Okay. And what does mom need from the supermarket? Cookie for dessert. Cookie for dessert. What does dad need from the drugstore? Aspirin. Aspirin. And where's Mike going to go with his dad? To the drugstore and get newspaper. Okay. 
there we go. Okay, so that is, you know, getting details from the information, okay, to answer questions in a general way, right? So we have here aspirin, they try to confuse with the movies, but at the end he's going to the drugstore and to get a newspaper. Okay. Now, okay, we're going to work in a small group, two or three. Okay, and then, uh, for example, you're going to make sentences. For example, uh, we are going to, let me, let me, let me get the right example here. We're going to practice the first uh, section. We're going to get a chicken and we're going to buy. We're going to buy chicken, a oh, chicken now, other vocabulary, toothpaste. At the supermarket. Okay, that is one example. We're going to buy toothpaste at the supermarket. Uh, we we, are, we can no, we can we're going to use another one. We can we can get. Uh, let me see, we can get, here in Salvador, we can get uh, hot dogs. Hot dogs at the, con, at the gas, at the convenience store. In convenience store. at the gas station. In the gas station. Okay, you can use this one. Okay, this is another example, right? Uh, what else can we say? Um, let's so for example, we buy clothes at the department store. Okay, you have three examples of sentences that you are going to, uh, to do, okay? So you're going to write uh, six sentences, okay? Six sentences about things that you can buy, that you're going to buy, that you can get, okay, that you that you buy, okay, in different places, right? What are the places that we have? It's supermarket. Uh, we have a department store. Uh, we have, what else? Um, Gas station. These are places. Gas station. What is another place that we have? Supermarket, department store, gas station. Um, library. Uh, bookstore. Bookstore. Yeah. Bookstore. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, drugstore. What else? Toy store. Toy store. Thank you. Toy store. What else? Toy store. Coffee store. Coffee store. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Uh huh. Yes. Coffee shop. 
Oh, well, we can buy, you know, delicatessen, coffee, soda, refreshment, okay, sweet bread, you know, from bakery. Okay. So you have all these places, coffee shop, they have supermarket, department store, gas station, bookstore, drugstore, toy store, coffee shop. Okay, places where we can go and buy. Well, uh, cafeteria in a university, for example. Okay. Uh, well, you can use a coffee shop. Um, let me see what else. We have a, a shoe shop, a restaurant. Pet shop. Uh -huh, pet shop. Yes. Ah, yeah, sí, lo iba yo. Okay. All right, good. Uh, somebody said restaurant, right? Restaurant? Yes. yes. Okay, restaurant. Oh, so you can buy food. Okay, you see all these places. Restaurant, we can buy food, meat, drinks. Pet shop, we can buy pets, like different kinds of animals. Birds, dogs, cats. Snakes. Okay. Thank you, Sue. Uh huh. A toy store. Okay. Obviously, toys, different kinds of toys for boys and girls. Drugstore, medicine, bookstore, books, gas station, gasoline. And then we have department store, supermarket. And you have also the convenience store, right? These are, for example, the Hard marker. Which one? Hard market. Which one is that? Uh, ferreteria. Ah, the hardware store. Hardware store. Hard, hardware, uh -huh, hardware store. Yes, hardware store. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Okay, so you see all this vocabulary, you can use it. Uh, to make sentences, right? Make sentences in the group, uh, organize yourself in the supermarket, what you can buy, and then you, you write the sentences, and then after you are going to read those sentences here in the group. Okay, minimum six, minimum. But if you can write more, no problem, okay? Now let's see how many groups can we create that are not too Three, four, five, five groups. Okay, here you go. Mm-hmm. 
What happened if you don't have a uh, name to this of it? Sorry, teacher, I'm I gonna be in the bus. Ah, okay, okay. No problem, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Good. And Elisa, do you have any problem? Okay, Edith, what you can do is uh, join the group and just listen, okay? Don't uh, participate to that. Okay, 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 teacher, yes, okay. Only listen. Okay. Okay. And then Ivan, you can go to group one. What happened, Herman? What happened, Herman? Hey, teacher, creo que tuve, tuve problemas de conexión. Me salí. Ah, ok. ¿Y en qué grupo estaba? No. Okay, lo voy a poner aquí. No, no, no me fijé. No problem, lo voy a mandar aquí al uno para que te explique que yo listo. Ok, go ahead. Ok. There you go. Hello, Iván. Hi, teacher. Okay. Did you get the invitation? Le llegó la invitación. Eh, sí, pero no la acepté. Ah, okay. Sí. Acéptela eh, para que eh, pueda participar ahí en el grupo. Ah, bueno. Ah, solo van a hacer oraciones y, y cómo es que se llama y, y practicar el vocabulario que hemos estado viendo. Okay. Ah, está bien. Este, oh. la pueden volver a reenviar. Yes. Let me see. No, oh, but I will send you to group three. Okay, there you go. And 74886229. Hello. The telephone number. Hello, hello. Okay. All right. Good to play. Play. Can we play station? No. Sé. Um. Of supermarket. Yes. I am going to I am going to buy a PlayStation at the supermarket or the Sí, creo que habla de You can use we. We are going to buy. Yes. Um, We're going to buy a PlayStation at the supermarket. Uh, yeah. Uh, I am or I'm going to... I'm going to buy a PlayStation at the toy store. Okay. Um, I am going to the restaurant. Okay, I'm going to a restaurant. Okay. I'm going to have dinner at a restaurant. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, I'm going to buy... Um, Aspirin and drugstore. 
O tu dru a dru drugstore? Drugstore? Uh -huh. No. And... Okay, continue practicing, okay? Similar sentence. Okay. Pero no son, bueno, según el traductor sería high heels, pero no es eso, ¿va? ¿Cómo? High heels. No me acuerdo, no me acuerdo. High heels. Según, según el traductor es high heels. Oh, sí. ¿Con alto? Sí. Ajá. Yes. Yes, high, right. heels. Uh, uh, high heels. High heels shoes. Okay. Es que estaba poniendo tu chair, I can, I can buy high, high shoes. High heels, high heels shoes. High heels. I can buy high heels mm, in the shoe store. In the shoe At, store. Yes, exactly, that's correct. Okay. Eh, well, Ya tenemos algunas. Ok. Then... Ya, dije, ya dijimos como 30, Ticho. Ok. <risa> then... Ok. De esas 30, lean 25. <risa> ok. okay. Re repeat them, ok. Eh, Leanlas, practiquen la pronunciación para que les... Para que a la hora de leerlas en el grupo de, de general, las puedan leer bien, ok. Good. Practice the reading. Ok. Practice the reading. Okay. Okay. Eh, okay. Solo, 20, solo 29 lo voy a dejar que lean. Ok. Bye. Ok. <laughs> ok. Uh -huh. at, the, at the hardware, at the hardware store. Hardware. Este, pero ahí he visto que lo ha puesto separado. No va unido. Sí. Sobre, no fue el espacio. No va unido. Bueno. Yep. Uh, Este, teacher, disculpe, yes. nosotros estamos intentando armar una oración en la que diríamos, este, my friends can to get a computer at the hardware store. Eh, ¿Verdad que ver buy el to get o no. solo can get? Solo can get. Uh -huh. ah, de eh, read it again. Leala, no. My friends can get a computer at the hardware store. At the hardware store. Uh -huh. No can to get, only can get. Uh, Después de que can, cuando utilicen can, nunca se utiliza el verbo en forma definitiva. Can to work, can to study, no. Siempre va can work, can study, can play, can get, can see. Siempre va el verbo inmediatamente. Ok. Cuando se usa can, ¿verdad? Can go. Ok, mm. good. Ok. No problem. Ok, continue with the practice, ok? Yes. Gracias, yeah. All right. Llevamos cinco, ¿verdad? Sí, cinco. Eh, podemos... Okay. How are you doing? Any questions? My father is going to buy hardware and the hardware store. Okay, uh huh. Yes, yes, exactly. Right. Think like that. My father is going to buy a hammer at the hard, uh, hardware store. Okay, and then you can continue with other, like in the supermarket, in the drugstore, uh, at the station. Uh, we are going to sell yuca in the municipal market. Well, then you, we are going to buy. Buy. Uh -huh. No puedo ir a vender. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, no problem. We are going to sell yuca uh -huh, sí, sí. at the, the municipal market. Okay. Yeah, good. Creative and original. Very good. That's, okay. Now. Create more sentences. Hagan más, okay? Escriban otras más ahí. Okay. My handsome pay the 
electricity bill and the supermarket. My husband pays the electricity bill at the supermarket. Yes, Karen, that's correct. Very good. Okay. What else? Hello, Adelaida. How is everything? How is everything at the beach? Okay. Oh, she didn't get it. Okay, make more sentences. Write more. Okay, how are you doing? No problem? No, no problem. Oh, okay, good. Podría hacer una, una oración. We can get a pizza at the restaurant. O hay un lugar específico así como pizzería o algo así, no sé. Yes, pizza. You can say at the pizza. Uh, at the pizza uh, for example, a uh, place or a restaurant. Usually, it's a, you know, it's a restaurant. Pizzas are in restaurants. Like McDonald's, fast food, they, they are fast food restaurants. Okay. Okay. Pero podría estar bien así con solo restaurants. Yes, because sometimes you go to a restaurant okay. and you order pizza. They have pizza. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, make more sentences. Okay, and in two, three minutes, we are going to go back to it, to the main group, okay? Okay. We'll visit one more. Okay. So... Esos son algunos de los vocabularios que dio. Ajá. Taura. Taura. Vale, ahí le puse algunos uno vocabularios que había dado el dicho. Ah, ok, gracias. Ok, muy bien. Thank you very much. Okay, are you ready? Okay, how many sentences did you create? How many did you write? Okay, you can uh, share. What is share? What is share? Yes, right, correct. So we have share is uh, compartir, right? So then now we are going to share the sentences that you created, right? Now, volunteer. One volunteer per group. Si no, si no voy a tener que hacerlo dedocráticamente. Uh, he can buy a snack at the grocery store. Okay. Yes, he can buy snacks at the grocery store. All right. We are, we are going we are going to buy magazines at the bookstore. We are going to buy magazines at the bookstore. Yes, good sentence. Okay, two good sentences. What else? I can buy ice cream in my city park. Yes, very good. I like that. Good. What else? My friends can get a computer at the hardware store. Very good. Excellent. Yes. 
What else? We can we can get a puppy in the pet shop. Yes, that's good. We can get a puppy at the at the pet shop. Yes, good. Very expensive, huh? A lot, a lot of money, a uh, puppy in the pet shop, but it's worth it. Vale la pena. <laughs> okay, what else? What else? I love buy bread in the bakery. Okay, me too. It's good. Delicious bread at the bakery. Okay, thank you, Karen. Okay, what else? Another one? We can get a pizza at the restaurant. Yes, we can. Okay, we can get a pizza at the restaurant. See, for example, how you are using in my city park and the restaurant, uh, you're using the computers in the hardware store. Uh, you're talking about pet shops, okay? So that's good. What else? Other sentences? I can I can buy high heels at the shoe store. I can buy high heels at the shoe store. Okay, yes. Right? That's for girls, you know, we can go to shoe stores and then buy the shoes of your preference. What else? I can I buy flowers in a flower shop. You can buy flowers in a flower shop, yes. Thank you, Karen. Mm -hmm. I can get vitamins at the drugstore. I can buy vitamins at the drugstore, yes. Okay, good. Gabby, do you have more? Um... We buy shoes at the shoe store. <laughs> we buy shoes, yes, we buy shoes at the shoe store. You know, that uh, that sentence has, for example, like the, the pronunciation of shoes at the shoe store. So then uh, for pronunciation, it's sometimes complicated when you say, okay, we can buy shoes at the shoe yes. store. Okay, hay un trabalenguas que dice, she va, I mean, she sells seashells by the seashore. Ya lo han oído. She sells she sells seashells by the seashore. Can I listen? Si rapidito. She sells seashells by the seashore. What? She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, let me see. Juan Paramenu says we, my wife is going to buy muscle cream at the drugstore. Yes. Okay, look. She sells. Well, okay, that one. Escribanos el trabalengua. Ahí está escrito. Chat. Este es como decir aquel de caca trepa trepa. Una caca trepa tuvo tres caca trepitos. A ver, la caca trepa trepa. Ahí está. Then this is she sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. Who was no me parece. Huh? No parece. In the... In the chat. Ah, wait a minute. No, ni a mi tampoco, teacher. Si es que se fue el mensaje. That for women is not a secret. Okay, there you go. Now, yes? Yes. Okay, read it. To sell seashell by the seashore. Okay, seashore. Okay. To sell seashell by the seashore. To sell seashells by the seashore. Good. Sell seashell. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, see, see. They, she sells seashells she by the seashore. 
Okay, yes, Natalie and Carlos, good. Okay. She sells, she sells by the seashore. Yes, that's <laughs> red. Good. Ahora, más rápido, okay? She sells by the seashore. Ajá, she sells seashell by the seashore. Okay, <laughs> by the seashore. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Jose. She she sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, good. That's right. Okay. Now you see, you have to practice it and repeat it and memorize it. Memorizar lo que lo right? Ajá, Jose. She she sells seashells by the seashore. Yes, that's correct. She good. sells seashells by the seashore. Very good, good. Okay, yes, yes, teacher level. Okay. Good. Juan? She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, she sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, good. Uh, Karen, you can do it. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, very good. Uh, Johanna? She shall, she shall buy the seashore. Good. Okay, it is. She shall, she shall buy the seashore. Okay, it is the list of the seashore. Okay, let's read it. Okay, try. She shall, she shall buy the seashore. Okay. She shall buy the seashore. Okay. She shall buy the seashore. Okay, okay, good. All right, you see, three times, okay? Go for three times. Can we put it in the video? Volunteer. Gabby, you said that you were going to do this. For your fault, we are going to do this. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, good. Jacqueline, try, try, you can. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Perfect. Okay, good. She sells seashells by the seashore. Excellent. Okay, you see, eh, esto es para que los puntos de articulación se acomoden a la pronunciación inglesa. Porque nosotros por lo general decimos she, en vez de decir she. Entonces, cuando decimos she is, cuando decimos she is, cheese, 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 cheese suena como queso. Entonces, she is, she is. Entonces, cuando se usa esto, she sells seashells with a t-shirt, uno aprende a sh. Ok. So, that's, uh, cuando se pronuncia C-H, entonces se dice she. Ok, chip. Ok, like turkey chip. Ok, o potato chip. Okay, but when you say the shoe shop, you see it, I got a shoe shop. And my shoes are the shoe store, okay? And then you say shoe, shoe, okay? And that's the language. Okay, that's um, a relaxing moment, okay? To, to practice pronunciation. Okay, good. Uh, let's see now, we have the next one, which is compound nouns. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound noun. Compound nouns are words that have two words instead of one, right? Now, let's... Okay, here. Sound and here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. 
I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stress in words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. In two words that make up the compound noun. Okay. Now, uh, it is, can you please read? Could you please read the word here? Post office, gas station, restaurant, coffee shop. Okay. All of them. Okay, can you read? Okay, can you read? Okay, okay post, post office. office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Thank you very much. Okay, now it is. Okay. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Excellent. Okay, Jacqueline. Post office. Gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Excellent. Okay, good. Sorry. Can I to us? Yes, please. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop. Um, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, a department store. Very good. Nice. Okay, good. Now, who is missing? Johanna? Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, so here, yeah, drugs, drugstore. Okay. Drop store. Very good. Fun. Post office, gas station, rest route, coffee shop, drug store, supermarket, book store, department store. Department store. Okay. Good. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, Lino, Jose. Post office, gas station, restaurant. Coffee shop, drugstore, 
supermarket, bookstore, department store. Thank you very much, David. Hola, hola. Hola. Ahora, ok. Eh, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, eh, bookstore y department store. Ok, muy bien. Now, Elizabeth. Um, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Department store. Okay, then we have more. Let's cut it. Carlos, Carlos. Okay, yeah. sorry. No problem. Uh, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Farm store. Great. Ivan? Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore. Supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, department store, good. Again, remember this one is drugstore, the drugstore. Okay, got it? Post office, gay, gay station, red room, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, good. Um, Adelaida? Post office, gas station, red room, coffee shop, drum store, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Jose? Post office. A gas station, rest room, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, and the department store. And the department store. Okay. No sé si alguien me falta. Me quedo alguien. No. Yo, yo. Okay. Yo, teacher. Falta yo, falta yo. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Adelante. Yeah. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, uh, bookstore, department store. Okay, thank you, Herman. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, the intention is that uh, you know you uh, you relax. Okay, everybody, when you uh, practice the pronunciation, the post office, you're going to the one, right? Post office, post office. Gas station, gas station, restroom, 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 coffee shop, coffee shop, drugstore. Esa U es como una, una, entre una A que se dice A, ah, pero más, no es, no es tan abierto como A, ah, entonces A, ah, drugstore. Supermarket, y aquí suena con un poco de U, supermarket, bookstore. And the farm store, the farm store. Okay. Practiquenlas para que, si no digo, para que se suelten los músculos, right? And then we can come up with it. Okay. Very good. Nice pronunciation, people. Very good. Just more, more, more practice for all the words. Okay. So these are compound words. Any questions? About vocabulary or expression? These are common, common places to visit, right? Now let's see the next one. Karin, would you please read the objective here? Hello, teacher. Yes. Okay, Julissa. Okay, you're ready, Julissa. 
Okay. By the end. By, by, by the end of the class, you will learn prepositions. Prepositions. And preposition of class in the order. In order. Order to keep direction. Direction. Additional jewels party a conversion with illustrator of all this topic. See, this topic is was a real Use life setting. Step. Okay, good. So prepositions of play. Prepositions. Okay, eso lo que vamos a, es lo que vamos a estudiar acá ahorita. Lo que vamos a estudiar es prepositions of place. That means in, on, at. Okay, in, on, at. Prepositions of place. Directions. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. 
the supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Where is Dam's Drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so that's the like the introduction for tomorrow's class, right? So tomorrow we are going to be practicing uh, location, okay? Uh, no directions, no la dirección, it's just a location where, where a place is. For example, where is the bank? It's on the corner of, pero dar la ubicación, okay, the location. Practice the vocabulary next to, in front of, across from, okay, in, on, so then that we can use it tomorrow, okay? So that's all the time that we have for today. So I will see you tomorrow, eight o'clock. Have a very good night. Dream in English, okay? And I will see you tomorrow. Thank see you, teacher. teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.